throughout the 2016 National Rugby Championship. While the St George Queensland Reds were competing for Brisbane City and Queensland Country, they've also been working hard at Ballymore with an eye on 2017. As part of their preparations for next year's Super Rugby season, head coach Nick Stiles has enlisted the help of Wallabies and former All Blacks skills coach Mick Byrne, who has a focus on improving the skill set of players throughout the country. No, I mean, obviously, the skill sets are quite subjective to improvement, but we, we will see uh, definite improvements across the board and even in our position-specific stuff. The big, the big key for me will be to help the coaches understand the, the need to really get, get to our skill sets and improve those across the board, even at the top end. You know, people will say, you know, why would a Wallaby need skills coach? Well, you know, it's the same reason Rory McIlroy or Jason Day have a swing coach. You know, at the top end of the game, the technique is really, really important to maintain. And when you're under pressure, and especially coming back from injury or, or even fatigue, sometimes your skills uh, drop off a little bit. And if you haven't got really good technique, then you, you're going to be found out. So we're really looking at introducing really good, strong technique to our players that, uh, through our coaching group around Australia that will maintain the, the standards under fatigue and pressure. Having played a part in the All Blacks Rugby World Cup success in 2011 and 2015, Byrne saw New Zealand's players improve through a focus on individual skill sets throughout the country's Super Rugby franchises. It was obviously, it was a great experience, and, and working with uh, the coaching group there and, and the players was was a, a, was, a, was a fun time. You know, it was obviously when you win, it's, it's, it's even more enjoyable. But I think the key there was the focus of individual players just trying to get better every day coming to work to get better and I enjoyed that mindset and um, you know and that's the same mindset we've got here is just we're turning up to work and every day we're going to get better and uh, I think over the course of the, the year the, the sort of the, the sort of 11 years that I was there it was more the, the focus on the skills throughout the, the game in New Zealand through good skills coaches that came into the system and uh, a lot of franchises uh, you know, took a focus around that, got good people involved in their, in their franchises. And, and what we want to be able to do here is to get our, get our franchises really working hard on helping our players get better every day in all parts of the game, but especially in that skills area, that we can make some good inroads, especially early on. With a wealth of experience from his many years in coaching, Byrne has set out to develop an in-depth knowledge of rugby in Australia and determine what can be introduced to help improve the game at various levels. Um, well, I think the first thing for me is to really get an understanding of the, the system here and, and how it can improve. I, I'm, I'm sort of, I don't come here with a, a mindset of this is the way it was done there, so this is why it's going to work here. The, the biggest thing for me is to understand how it works here and what the systems are and how we can enhance those systems and what, what I can do to add to those, to make those work for us. Because we're, we're a unique uh, environment, like they are a unique environment. And I think it's really important that if there's something there that we can, uh, that I can see that we can add value here, then of course you're going to bring stuff that, uh, you know, from all, you know, I've been involved in, in coaching now for, for 30 years and it's really important that um, through that time that we, we look at all things that we can learn from and get better at as coaches. Um, never have a closed mind, we're always learning and if I can bring something that's going to enhance this group, definitely bring it. Having worked with the experienced Reds in the Wallabies, as well as some of the younger up-and-coming talents at Ballymore. Burn is excited about what lies ahead for Queensland Rugby. Oh, I think it's exciting for them. They're going to have a really good list. They're going to have, they're going to have one of the better lists in, uh, in Australian Rugby. They're going to have a couple of players coming in here that are going to want to, want to play really well. You know, Stephen Moore's going to want to show that he, he can come in here and be a, a big leader within the group. Uh, George Smith's going to come back and add value to it. Quade's playing great rugby now. I think that's, uh, you know, those three are going to bring an excitement to it. Um, I know the draws just come out and there's some favourable uh, parts of that draw for, for the Reds. A couple of early games here and I think it'll be, um, it's an exciting time. There's some good young players that have just been out on the field with a group of young players and there's some real talent around here and I think it's quite an exciting time for, for Queensland Rugby.